Okay. All right. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? How is everyone doing tonight? Hope everyone is having a great night and or day, as always. Uh, sorry I couldn't stream la uh, last night. I did have to sleep early. We'll go to sleep early because I had to wake up early. Um, uh, yesterday since it's past midnight for me, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great night. Um, if you guys don't don't know or I don't know, but I made I posted an uh an update on my Discord saying that I may that I'm thinking about. Making some changes on my on my channel. Changes meaning the games that I'm gonna be playing on my channel, or like I'm um, like right now I have a schedule of playing three games twice every week, like playing three games two times, oh, two times a week every week. Uh, right now, I don't know if I'm going to continue that type of scheduling, but I will still continue DMC Devil May Cry, uh, Bayonetta, and Tales of Hysteria until I finish them. So, uh, yeah, I'll still be fin uh, playing those three games that I currently have on my schedule, but... I'll probably just switch it up here and there with different, like, other games. So, <clears throat> yeah. I'm thinking about maybe, like, adding Overwatch to my channel since I've been playing that, like, the whole week, last week. <laughs> uh, I recently I recently got Dead by Daylight, which is, like, a scary game. And... Uh, now I got this game that you currently see on your screen called Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> now, before I get to the game, there is a fo uh, I did get a new follower when while I was offline. So, thank you to 8Bit Troy for giving me a follow. Welcome to the crew. I don't know if you're going to watch this or not, but <laughs> thank you. Um... You see a cup with dice. Uh, yeah, that it, it's not dice in the cup. It's um, it's like one of those notification cup things. So each time someone follows you, I guess donates. Like every time, like let's say someone follows me, donates to me, uh, cheers me, like bits. Like cheers me with bits, you'll see things drop into that cup. So the reason why I have two two things in that cup is because since I've put that cup back back on my on my streams, there were two followers. So those two things that's in my cup in my cup means two followers have recently followed. Uh, two people have recently followed me. So. <clears throat> All right. Before we continue, let me make some small checks. Some last minute checks before we start this game.
You can get bits? No, 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 I, I can't. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I don't, I'm not an affiliate yet. I'll get there, but, um, I mean, I think it should, like, if don't, if, like, someone donates me stuff, or donates me money, it'll still drop, I think something will still drop in the cup, uh, some other stuff. <laughs> Welcome to stat. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> and the hit. In into his house. <laughs> uh, nothing much. I'm. I'm about to get my pants scared, cause the game that you currently see on your screen. Uh, I'm gonna be playing it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard of this game, but it's pretty popular, especially in the YouTube world. <laughs> I know. I've. I. Okay. Disclaimer. I did see like I I have seen this game like being played on YouTube before but I heard from uh from uh from someone in the survive with us uh discord server that this game got an update and it got more stuff added to it so um, I want to see what they added and like everyone says, it's different to play the game than to watch the game. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Is this one of those anime dating sex games? Uh, you'll see. If you if you haven't seen this game, well, you're 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 in for a wild ride. You're you're definitely in for a wild ride. But to answer your question, no, it's not an anime dating sex game. Cause I'm pretty sure they won't allow me to stream this on Twitch. <laughs> they won't, unless I don't know. But anyways, we shall get right into the game. But yeah, guys, this is Doki Doki Literature Club. This is a a free game on Steam, completely free. Uh, it's an anime style like visual novel type game um that's all i'm gonna say right now and you guys can follow along on this roller coaster of a game <laughs> so let's let's get into this game again follow this this warning in this follow this warning if you are easily disturbed, please do not watch this stream or even don't even play this game. Don't even try to play this game if you're easily disturbed. So even if you're even if you're not a child, if you're just easily disturbed, please just do not watch this stream or play this game. But okay. Pass the warning. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit the DDLC Moe slash warning, whatever that website right there. <laughs> Alright. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Yes, I agree. <laughs> well, I'm out now. I can't watch this due to my anxiety and depression. Uh, well, that's fine. If you can't, then I totally understand. <laughs> and uh, you're under, under 13. <laughs> I find that really hard to believe. Alright. I do agree to this. I know you are. I know you are. Don't worry. I know you. This game is not suitable for children, for those who are easily disturbed. Again, if you are easily disturbed, please do not continue watching this. Um, let me see the settings here. Uh, window. That's fine.
Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Oh, not that much. I don't know. Oh, well, shouldn't have done that, I guess. Alright, uh... By the way, I hope the game is running, um, running well for you guys. I did make some changes to OBS because I I did I kind of want to try to stream at I want to see if I could stream at 720p, 60 frames per second. So I made some changes onto uh into my OBS. So I don't know if it's gonna be running well because I did try that. I did try running, I mean streaming at uh, 720p 60 frames when I was playing um, Overwatch the other day and I reviewed, I mean, like I replayed back my stream and it, I think it was laggy, I don't know if it was laggy for you guys, but when I rewatched it, it was pretty laggy. So we will continue, we will start a new game. Our name. We Oops. Dino. <laughs> Let's do that. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys want me to do some weird voice acting in this game. <laughs> Cause I am terrible with voice acting, believe me. I am not good with voice acting, so I'm a. Uh, every time, like, I, there's dialogue and there's no like, uh, there's no voices saying the dialogue parts. I just say it in my normal voice. <laughs> Anyways, all right. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. <laughs> Do <laughs> Alright, let's that relax, relax. Hey <laughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obvious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other f for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me, wait, chase after me like this, I feel almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sierra catch up to me. Huh. <sighs> Huh. <laughs> oh boy. This is this is going to be an interesting stream I can I can tell now. I overslept again. But I <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know. <laughs> but I could have caught you this time. <laughs> oh wait, that's me. Wait. No, this is me. Maybe Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? <laughs> you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Dino. <laughs> when people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if, even if you want to. What do we say, Siori? <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. And we draw near the the street. Wait, as we draw near, the streets become 
increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dino, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really... I'm, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. Man, I cannot read. <laughs> I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a, a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not you wait well, you're not used to the real world. Can someone explain me what a neat is? <laughs> Cause I, I do not know what a neat is. Alright. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise you'll Promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself rel relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. And we're in school. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare bluntly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Suri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, now what? Well, that you could come to my club. Siri. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> that is mean. That is that that is mean. Eh, meanie. <laughs> Sayori, Sayori is vice president of the liter literature club. God. Not that I was ever aware that she had an, any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. You even like tell him that, like without agreeing, like without like letting him know. <laughs> and Asuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Exactly. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let a, a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> Would you guys sell your soul for a cupcake? <laughs> 
I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I barely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full, Sayori, full of energy, swings open the door, uh, the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature literature club. It's a pleasure to, it's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you bought a boy? <laughs> What's wrong with being a boy? Come on now. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Dino, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club. Nope, not mine. <laughs> this club is full of incredibly cute Girls, exactly. That's 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 the first thing he thinks of. Of course, of course. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one. Is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore. <coughs> Excuse me. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Dino. Monica smiles sweetly. That skirt flip. My god. She's trying to, she's trying to tell me something. <laughs> we do not, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me is so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Dino. We made room for you at the table, so... You can sit next to me or Monica. Uh, is this one of those choices here? Uh, I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girl have, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over. To the corner of the room when Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. So feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Wow! <laughs> wow! Whoa, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sari talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't, uh, I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. 
The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Typical, uh, anime phrase. Like, the most overused anime phrase ever. <laughs> made them for you or anything. Uh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you... Not for you, you know. You... Dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself be uh, get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not true. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri f faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Okay. So what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy or so. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, be sure to f well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and, and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the, po the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publis publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if I encourage others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling the dream. That dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also not in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that, you, that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we can we graduate. Did I read that right? I'm confident that we can all really Grow this club. Okay, yeah, I read the right. <laughs> right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't know. I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Dino, <laughs> what kind, uh, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I wouldn't either if I was in this situation. Like, I don't, I don't really remember when was the last time I've actually read a book. Like, I felt like I haven't read a book in years. Like, years. It's, I feel like it's just been a while. 
that I, I've actually read a book. Uh, considering, okay, I read that manga. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Nasugi's head, <laughs> Nasugi's head uh, suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I would feel the same way, because I don't read a lot. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Sir uh, Yuri. Almost a Sayori. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. <laughs> I hate horror too. If you guys, like, haven't, like, if you guys don't know, I, I get scared pretty easily. <laughs> like, I'm easily scared of things. Like, if I see a scary movie, uh, I don't know, I would be scared for a while. And it would like bother me the night the night of the day that I've seen see that scary movie. <laughs> like I remember like um I remember years back. Um years back when I was like younger, like prob probably in uh either junior high or elementary school maybe. I saw them I saw uh this this movie called The Ring. I don't know if I'm pretty sure you guys have heard it. it's pretty it's a pretty well known scary movie. And ever like after after seeing the ring, like I would be scared to go to my bathroom to like pass by the uh the mirror and I would be scared to like I don't know, like at night when I'm about to sleep I would be scared like just I would just be scared at night. <laughs> Like, I would be so scared. And before, the apartment building that I live in right now, before, like, uh, right now, it, get, it it's uh, it's renovated from how it looked before. Before, it looked, it, it was pretty, like, bad before. Especially in the hallways. Right now, they're, like, well lit. The hallways of my, uh, of my uh, apartment building is, like, well lit. Before it was renovated, the lights are like really dim they're pretty dim and if you like look down the hallway of my building before it was renovated it it kind it would kind of look like it would kind of look like like you're in a a horror movie sort of so to speak and like ever since ever since um like ever since i've watched the ring like and walking down the hallways walking down the hallway to get to my apartment would be 
like a nightmare because of how dim the lights were and how dingy the hallway will look like it's it's scary but enough of my enough of my my messed up past <laughs> let's continue <laughs> but why is that well I just Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second never mind that's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind... Wait. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! I don't know how sensitive my mic is right now, so I don't want to scream. <laughs> I don't really want to scream that loud and possibly hurt your eardrums. And give that back. <laughs> yeah, don't scream. <laughs> I, I I had a feeling. But hey, uh, Sephiroth. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Maybe I should turn down my mic. I don't know. Or turn up the game. I don't know. Eh, let's do that. Doing well. About to shower and work on getting to bed. Alright. That's cool. Give that back. Okay. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Siri Siddles? Is that how you say it? Siddles? Or Siddles? Siddles behind uh, Nats Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> Wanted to uh, wanted to see who's streaming in the SWU community and, s and set up the nightly lurks. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for thanks for stopping by. Natsuki, you write p your own poems? Eh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? I really want to play this game at some point. <laughs> I did too. The reason why it took so long to play this game is because I don't know. I get like I mentioned earlier. I I do get scared really easily, so playing this will probably scare the crap out of me at some point. But like um like I also said before. I have watched this, like I have seen uh, gameplays of this game on YouTube, but I heard that they added new things to this game in a recent update, so I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if like there's anything different, but I'm going to play it for myself to check it out. And I'm probably going to regret this decision of doing so. <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulner vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart do you have any do you have writing experience uh wait do you have writing experience experience too yuri maybe if you share some of your work you can set an example and help natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers dot 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 <laughs> i guess it's the same for you yuri i wanted to read everyone's poems we all sit in silence for a moment Okay, I have an idea everyone. 
Hmm? Now, Tsuke and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Dot dot dot. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get to uh, get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Dino? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back, uh, back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with uh, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Suri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never stopped by, uh, never made my made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. They're all looking at me. It's it's quite, <laughs> it's quite, uh, I don't know. It just feels weird that they're all looking at me. And they're probably looking at you guys too, because, you know, you're watching it on your screen. <laughs> All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Dino. You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One one by one the girls the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> oh boy. It's like, it's like, it's like the, uh, when some people would go to like those open events and they give out and they say they give, uh, give out free stuff and people would just go to those open events just for the free stuff and leave and not stay for like the stuff that it's meant for. <laughs> I don't know. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over to me once more. Dan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. <laughs> like Costco. Yeah. <laughs> they would go to like people would go to Costco just for the free samples instead of just buying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, that is true. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure you guys have done it. I'm pretty good I'm pretty sure you guys have just gone to Costco just for the free samples and not buy stuff. Hey Donald, since we're already here, do you wanna walk home together? That's right, Siri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the club, uh, the club room, and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Sayori, Atsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll. Have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I knew you. I knew you have. I knew you have. <laughs> All right. 
I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts the uh wait. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. So. Who should we write our poem to? That is the question. Who should we write our poem to? Let's see... Who should we write the poem to? I don't know. We can just random, like, just pick random words and see who who it goes to. Like, who, who the poem will, like, end up ferreting the most. So, we'll, we'll do that then. Okay, so let's see. Let's do extreme. Okay. Uh, ultimate Costco. Uh, ultimate Costco trick. Fill up on samples and pray for a twenty-five cent bottle of water. Oh, and pay for a twenty-five cents bottle of water. Twenty-five cents. <laughs> 25 cents Costco sells 25 cents uh, a 25 cent bottle of water they have they have actually have bottle of water for 25 cents I didn't know that hmm that is interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, question. Okay. <laughs> um. Bad. Uh. That's how much it costs. <laughs> I didn't know there was even a place to that. I didn't know there was a place that even that would sell a bottle of water for as low as twenty five cents. Usually, don't they cost like a dollar? At at the least, like I'm pretty sure most places sell them like over a dollar. Uh, promise. Sensation Crimson Okay, so far we're, we're like This poem is favoriting Yuri And I'm just picking random words I don't know like I don't know like Which word goes to which girl So uh, Games Okay <laughs> 420 <laughs> Hey, it's it's actually th three more days until 420, so... Oh, page 420. Haha. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, Rose. Uh, Starscape. Climax. Okay, this, this poem is just really favoring Yuri. And I'm not doing this on purpose either. Uh, giggle. Uh, aura. <laughs> Massacre. Oh, damn it. Yeah, this poem's just, just it's it's just one-sided on Yuri, 
and I'm not doing this on purpose at all. Valentine. Alright. Bliss. Cage. Uh. Music. Headphones. <laughs> I think I think Yuri likes like dark words. So let's try something different, I guess. Excitement. Okay. Last one. Um electricity. Oh fuck damn it. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, this this poem is just mainly for for Yuri. Hi again, Dino. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> why? Why? Why would there be a purpose of running for this? For the um, protagonist of this game, when you're in a club, when you just join a club with four attractive girls to you, like why? Why would you run? Right? Why? Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I, I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to uh, I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Dino. Hope this uh, I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. Why is this girl so mean? This girl's evil, I swear. Siori told, uh, told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Well, that it's true. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. I don't... That's something that's something I've been um, quite curious about like for uh, students in, J in Japan like is it like do they do students in Japan have to join a club in high school like that's I don't know why like uh, students are like are you know I don't know why joining clubs are so important. Maybe it's needed to graduate or something, but that's something I've been curious about when it comes to Japanese high schoolers and joining clubs. Uh, yeah. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Nasuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Damn, why you gotta throw her under the bus like that? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having a manga collection. I have one. A small one. I haven't bought a manga in so long though. I used to, I used to buy a uh, manga a lot back then. And not those like... Not those uh, magazine mangas where it comes with like different uh, different anime volumes. I bought like the actual uh, well, not volumes, I guess like different uh, I don't know different chapters of a of a manga. I guess I don't know, but like an individual manga of a specific anime. Like I used to, I used to do that uh, a long time ago when I was younger. I've stopped since. Like, I actually prefer watching the anime than reading a manga because I like watching, I like watching movement and action, and instead of looking at pictures and text. I don't know. I'm probably pretty sure a lot of people will hate me for that for saying that, but that's just my opinion. And I know anime. Uh, like anime come out later than manga because you know anime takes longer to work to like to produce than than manga and i know manga are way ahead of anime the anime um series whatever 
but I just I just I just prefer to watching like the actual anime instead of reading manga. I don't know, but yeah, that's just me. I'm sorry to all manga lovers out there. <laughs> Nasuki finds herself stuck between seeing Monica and manga. Wait, what? Nasuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Okay. Manga is literature. What do you guys think? Do you think manga is literature? That's a. I think it is. I mean, it's a book. Manga is a book. It has text. It has a story. It just has pictures. To go with the text. It's like a comic book. It's like a Japanese comic book. That's what it is. I think comic books are literature. It has a story. It has chapters, I guess. But mangas, I think... Mangas are longer than comic books. Because usually, when you buy a comic book, they're like really thin. They're like... They're like... Probably like this thin. And then when you buy like a manga of an anime... Like a, like a volume of a manga... Of a, Manga, they're like usually like way thicker. Like they're probably like about thick, this thick or even thicker than that. I don't know. I haven't bought a manga in, in a while, so I don't know how how long each volume of a of a chapter is now a days. <clears throat> Sophie defeated Natsuki. Plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Dino always gives his. Uh, gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Oh, I'm pretty sure you ask him a lot. <laughs> Don't lie. Like cooking, cleaning my room. I'm pretty sure he does all the work. How dependable. <laughs> Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. <laughs> it's distracting. You almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> Are you serious? Like, did, she, did was she like cooking something and was she like cooking something and didn't almost set the house on fire, or was she just playing with fire in general? <laughs> oh, this girl. Is that so? <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Dino can be good friends too. Um... Sayori. Hmm? Dot dot dot. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the world situation- uh, To the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri- Oh, oh, Yuri even- Brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> She is so oblivious to everything. <laughs> I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, don't. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. <laughs> this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. 
Now that everyone saw it and expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Saria and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. And I can't help but and I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is ra uh, rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of her uh, of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh. I was gonna say like, why did the music stop? That kind of scared me for a moment. <laughs> I was like, why, why did the music stop? But it did it. Okay, it just changed. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She's she just like looking at me. At the at the corner of her eye. That's I don't know. It's kind of just it's kind of bothering me. <laughs> she sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Dot dot dot. <laughs> That only makes her, uh, make her. That only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book you gave me, right? Mhm. Mm I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. You know you want. You know you read that. Uh, for me or the main character. <laughs> Just curious. How come you uh, have two copies of the same book? Ah. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Oh, that's not what I meant. What? I mean. I just happened to I just happened to buy two of them. Who just so happens to buy two two things, two of the same things? Like you would you would notice that you bought them cuz there's going to be a drastic price change being doubled of the one item that you're supposed to get. You you're like paying more than what you're supposed to, so I'm pretty sure you would know. Or at least the the cashier would tell you that you're buying the, uh, well maybe, the cashier will tell you that you're buying the same, like two copies of the same book. I don't know. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there's a lot of people who, like, would get into books and not put it down. I know there's someone that I know that loves books and won't put it down because they're so deep into it. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Oh, excuse me. All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who get, uh, who moves with who moves in with her long lost younger sister. Oh, but as soon as she do so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison, and while her life is in danger, she needs to des uh, desperately choose who to trust. 
No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so... <laughs> Wait, so that dark turn came in... So that dark ca uh, dark turn came from nowhere. I know, right? Like, I thought it was going to be like... Some lighthearted lighthearted like scary story or something I don't know but yeah it did take a dark turn <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden are you not a fan of that sort of thing Dino no it's not that I mean I can definitely enjoy those uh, those kind of stories so don't worry I hope so yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. So shy. She's so shy. She, uh, She's so shy. God, I cannot read. <laughs> and reclusive on the outside of... On the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horror things happen not just because someone wants to be evil. Wait. When horror things when horror things when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil. There we go. <laughs> but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly when you thought you related to the protagonist, they made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing from my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a, liturg it's a literature club after, uh, after all. Ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. And <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Dot dot dot. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and I had that I had put into my bag. All right. Is is it? It's fine if I sit here, right? I step into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm, I'm not very used to. You're not used to having a boy sitting next to you? <laughs> that is reading in company with someone. Or that too. I see. <clears throat> well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. I still understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly ba uh, It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. There she goes again. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it... Uh, I slide my desk until it's up against... Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. 
Once we once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It almost feels like my left arm is in the way, so I uh, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages to turn the page here. Aw, isn't this cute? <laughs> Sitting next to each other and reading from the same book. Yuri takes her th uh, left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distract. Uh, it's kind of. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's that to. I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Well, she technically is in the corner of your face. <laughs> Sorry, I got a. <laughs> I got a notification on my phone, uh, a message, uh, it was funny, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. 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 I don't know the right way of saying it. I, I usually just say sorry. 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 Eh. Yeah. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. She's looking at me. <laughs> I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. You no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page also feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently let my my thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side, and she. As she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she's uh, she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. I want to read a book in a classroom. Oh wait, I can't. College. <laughs> exactly. That's what... <laughs> yeah. That's what a lot of people do in college. And, and high school, of course. Oh, well, just school in general. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. Ooh, excuse me. But they're kind of reminiscent of something, of some of your mannerisms. I see. It's 115. You remain silent for a moment. But Dinah, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think of th that you think that. Wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. So I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah. <laughs> what are you? What are you saying all of a sudden? I. Okay, everyone. <laughs> As Monica just slides in the frame. Okay, so it's uh. It is 116 and I don't know I'm 
kind of thinking about I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about switching over to Dead by Daylight. I don't know. I kind of do want to play that game. I never played it before. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Should we play Dead by Daylight? Hmm. Let's see if you're first. Empty slot. Uh, return. Hmm. We'll continue on a little bit more then, and then we'll see. We'll continue on uh, with more, uh, a little bit more of this game, and then uh, if you guys want to want me to play Dead by Daylight, then we'll we'll uh, we'll switch to that game. Yeah, I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We're, we might not have uh, enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I re only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after I, after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. <laughs> how can we not? Like, how can we not write a poem? Like, they basically made us to. My, rela my, <clears throat> my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Siri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Series <laughs> Series is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn. Uh, wait, she of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers. In a composition notebook. I can only I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Alright. <clears throat> um Let me save. I don't know. Usually when choices like this pop up, people save. I don't know if it'll make any difference, but eh. Uh who should I show my poem to first? Well I'm thinking about showing it to Yuri since she's she like her little character in the bottom left corner like popped up the most every time I picked a word. So, you can try showing it to her. Let's show it to her first, I guess. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. <clears throat> as, Yuri, as Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. 
Eh, what was that? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh, he's going to hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? Oh, <laughs> I young. Thank you for the raid. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to those who are from I young stream. Thank you so much. <laughs> I young. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Four people, including me. Hey, <laughs> that's 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 still a lot of people. I mean, that's still a lot of people. Four people's... I don't know. <laughs> I was like, ooh, DDLC, time to stop streaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I was actually thinking about raiding you after I was done. But I guess you finished, you beat me to it. <laughs> you beat me to it and you raided me instead. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome everyone from um, from Ayoung's stream. How are you? <laughs> yes, you, 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 you win the race. <laughs> you win. You beat me to it. But how is everyone from um from Ayoung's from Ayoung's stream? Welcome to my uh my stream. Welcome to the stream. We are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um I mentioned before that I I've seen I've seen this game like on YouTube already. Like I've seen people play this on YouTube uh from beginning to end. Um and I've also heard that there are like new things added to this game, so I'm so I'm gonna like take the opportunity for myself to play it, cause you know people always say that it's it's different, for, like you know, to play the game and watch the game. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've decided to play this game and probably get the crap scared out of me that's I guess you're right what am I getting so nervous for ahaha <laughs> they're probably all asleep <laughs> who are the people from your stream <laughs> <laughs> It was a few SWU peeps that were lurking. Oh, I see, I see. I see. Well, that's fine. That's all cool. That's cool. That's all cool. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. DLC isn't worth playing if you're not gonna play it three times like you have to. Yeah, I mean, doesn't it make you play? Cause I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, like, the game makes you start over. Doesn't it? Like, it makes you start over, and then it makes you go back into the game. Doesn't it? I believe it does that. Yeah, but most people stop there. Oh, that's true. That is true. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not stopping there. I'm gonna play it like how many times it's gonna... Oh yeah, spoilers. Okay, no more talking about it. No more. No more. <laughs> we just spoiled like most of it now. But you don't know what happened though. Like you don't know what happened in the game. 
You don't know what happened in the game, so you're good still. It's not really spoiling anything. Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Dot dot dot. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. Ah, uh, fuck. My ear itches, sorry. Ugh. She drags her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to, wait, this is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that you, you are usually typical of that, wait, that are usually typical of new writers. I never saw this game. Uh, so. <laughs> And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up, uh, wait, I kind of le learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick uh, a writing style separate from the, the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the express expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's it's as her demeanor totally changes. Playing as much playing is it's much better than watching it though. Watching it is rather yeah. I'll try it. I actually download it because it looks fun. <laughs> I actually downloaded this game because I was watching it in um Mark Monkey's stream. Mark Monkey and Glam stream um when they were playing this game. Like I told them that I was too scared to play this game, but it kind of still made me want to play this game like on my stream. <laughs> I watched it, played it, watched it again. <laughs> You'll never get tired of this game, do you? Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not at all. <laughs> Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It's like trying to get tired of 007 Goldeneye, it just won't happen. Just get a blanket with the, ch with the characters. <laughs> but I mean, doesn't, isn't 007, isn't Goldeneye like a multiplayer game? Or, or are you just saying that that get, uh, Golden Eye is just that good that you don't get tired of it? <laughs> uh, it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I hope. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologi apologizing to herself, to me, or, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Just that good that you don't get tired of it. <laughs> uh, Golden Eye. What system did I come out on? This just shows that I never, like, never really played it or uh, owned the game. <laughs> what I feel like, Golden Eye was it? Was it on Nintendo sixty four? 
I had a feeling it was on Nintendo 64. I was gonna say PlayStation, but I was like, eh, I don't know. But yeah, I remember it now. I remember the, uh, I remember it. Alright. We're gonna read her poem, I think. Yuri smiles dreamily, 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 as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this is, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Alright. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be... Wait, it must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Oh, what a poem. Uh... I love this emote. <laughs> I should have said Super Mario 64. Is that a Walmart? Waller? Yeah. Watermelon Heart, yes. <laughs> Super Mario 64. You know what's funny? I never played Super Mario 64 and I've owned a, a Nintendo 64. <laughs> There's like there's like a lot of Nintendo games that I've never played that I I wasn't really interested in back then when I was a kid cuz I've uh back then I've gotten I got the Nintendo 64 pretty late like it was it was kind of it was a gift from um a family member so the only game, <laughs> the only game I only played on the on the uh, Nintendo 64 was uh, Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, Chameleon Twist 2, and I think I have some other games that I forgot. But yeah, <laughs> Dino, you're hurting my soul. I'm sorry. Like back, like <laughs> I'm. I wasn't like I don't know. There's there are like this is probably gonna bother you even more, but there are like a lot of games that are really popular back then and even in the modern day that I'm not even interested in. Like I never played any of the the Zelda series because I wasn't really interested in Zelda. I'm still not really interested in Zelda. The Legend of Zelda. I know that's really hard to understand and comprehend, but I don't know. Um, what else? I never played GoldenEye. I never played what? You never touched Zelda games. Yeah, I've never. The probably only like Legend of Zelda game that I played, like really played and owned. I, w I can't really consider this a, a Zelda game, really, but, um, I played, uh, I played Hyrule Warriors on, I, I had Hyrule Warriors for the 3DS, but I can't really consider that a Zelda game. It's like a, it's a spin-off game, right? But, yeah. Anyways, let's, uh, get back to the game. This game. <laughs> okay. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry to have such terrible handwriting. Hmm. That wasn't terrible handwriting. That was pretty, pretty good handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Exactly. Me neither. But it took you a long time to read. <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell. If this is breaking the fourth wall right now, or it's just it's just part of the thing. Isn't that the one that that wait? Isn't that the one that has a ripoff version of Dynasty Warriors? That was a, a ripoff. Yeah, 
It's basically, yeah, Legend of Zelda version of Dynasty Warriors. You know what's funny? What's another funny story is... I... Never played any of the Dynasty Warrior games. But I played... Rip-offs of Dynasty Warrior games. Like, I played... Hyrule Warriors. I played... One Piece Pirate Warriors. Uh, I haven't played Fire Emblem Warriors, so don't include that. Um, I played. Uh, I I have played Dynasty Warriors All Stars. I think that's the that's the name, right? Is that the name of it? Dyn like, what's the name of it? Is it Dynasty Warrior All Stars? Something like that, right? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Like I said, there are a lot of games that I'm interested in that, I mean, that I'm not interested in that are very popular among a lot of people. And I know that hurts a lot of people, but it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm just that type of, I'm just one of those few people that don't have interest in like very in those popular games it's not it's not I'm not saying that I hate them I'm just not interested you know like I would watch people play it I just won't play it myself I guess <laughs> it hurts a lot of people <laughs> questioning me. <laughs> you're questioning me oh boy <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. Dynasty Warriors, I would ignore. I would ignore my my girlfriend to play that game. God damn, that's... <laughs> Someone has their priorities straight, right? <laughs> I feel bad for her. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Anyways, back to this game. I feel like this game just broke the fourth wall. Cause we did have a... A pausing moment when we were reading her, her poem. I don't know if this broke, like, was... Breaking the fourth wall that... We took a while to read it. Or is it just part of the story? Like... Like, the character... Himself is, took a while to read it. Wait. Don't she ignore me to play Dead by Daylight? <laughs> oh, so you're just returning the favor, huh? Oh, nah, she just says that either way. Okay, no, but it's just the, the coincidence, though. It's just the coincidence of the game saying that when we, like, kind of pause at at her poem. It's just, it's, it just, it's, it gave me that weird feeling. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? Why would- why would you ask that? <laughs> why would you- why would you even ask anyone that? <laughs> That's a weird question to ask anyone, really. Hoo-hoo! Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Dino. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over after all. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's the real question. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of a weird question to ask someone. Like, I don't know, are you into ghosts? And then you've, and then like... 
They'll probably look at you weird and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance over after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive, eh? It's nothing really. This was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm I'm going to keep doing uh, I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Dino. Ah, uh, wait, well, why for me though? <laughs> why not for the others too? <clears throat> all right. Who should I show my poem to next? I don't really think- I don't think it really matters like in what order you show the poem to, right? So... Let's go to... Sayori. I guess. Dot dot dot. Oh! Sorry! <laughs> I didn't see your... Your choice. Or who you wanted me to pick. You took too long. <laughs> this is a good poem, Dino. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest. I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you- Wait, I'm really happy just that you wrote one. <coughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for typing like a turtle. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> it's all cool. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Oh well, of course. I'm not really, sh uh, I'm not really into it yet. But that doesn't s doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Dino. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people is something that only good people do. Really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you on to that. Hold you to that. Yay! Now that- Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Well, we'll see about that. Alright, let's see what she wrote. <clears throat> Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a, a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. Yes. What a, what a great way to end the poem. <laughs> Sayori. This is a, this is a, this is just a guess, but. Did you wait until this morning to write this? <laughs> Last minute poem, poem, 
poem. Last minute poem. <laughs> no. Just a little bit. You can't answer just. <laughs> you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Of course you did. At least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Pomo. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> don't be mean. Yeah, young, don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Oh, good, yo. <laughs> Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I'm pretty sure it's better to skip breakfast when you're late for school. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe... Breakfast is important, but I don't think being late is less important than breakfast. Am I saying that right? I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Wait, what? Ah, yeah. I'm gonna lay down. Alright. That's cool. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Make sure you read someone before you end stream. I'll be sure to do that. I will be sure to do that. <clears throat> I will be sure to do that. Thanks, Thanks for reminding me. I'll check uh, whoever's on or whoever's streaming uh, when I finish, which would be soon. You gotta listen to bad puns in my sleep. Wait, you gotta listen to bad puns in my sleep, or I'll wake up randomly and go say some bad puns in a random stream. Wait, what? Wait, wh hold on. Let me re reread that. I gotta listen to bad puns in my sleep, or I'll wake up randomly and go say some bad puns in a random stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Natsuki. Let's go. You read it, right? <laughs> dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. It was about what I expected from someone like you. What's that supposed to mean? That's a little blunt. Exactly. What's that supposed to mean? Excuse me. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just... It just didn't ev evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Huh. Well, anyway. I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Alright, let's see what she, she... Hers is short. Alright, let's do this. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. Peoples can try. But that's about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> People can try, but that's about it. <laughs> My goodness, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I did not say that. I just found it funny. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Best poem 2018. <laughs> Didn't this best poem of 2018, but this game came out like a year or two ago? <laughs> well, because 
Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the poem a point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it's it puts more weight on the wordplay. Came out September last year. Ah, oh, the dirty puns. <laughs> of course you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it uh, that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her f with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright. Uh, no, we, we can continue a little bit more. We'll do Mon- uh, We'll show Monica the poem and then we'll end the, end the stream there. Hi Dino. Having a good time so far? Yeah, uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that uh, things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Wait, yeah. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ahahaha. <laughs> Don't worry, Dino. We're all here. Well, wait. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I hand Monica my poem. Mm hmm. Great job, Dino. I was going. Ooh. Oh, or oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. My body is ready for the random raid. <laughs> I don't know who I'm gonna raid, depends on who's online right now. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh -huh. It's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that? Wait, you know that? Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Siori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Oh, you could rate Lestat since he's streaming. Oh, he is? Okay. Um. Um, question though. Like, I've never rated someone before. <laughs> you don't know the other two. <laughs> question though. When I raid someone, I have to type it in my chat, right? The, the command to raid. And then... When I raid someone, that automatically ends my stream, doesn't it? Or no? Yuri likes it when readers are left to uh, deserve, derot, deserve, derive their own meaning out of it. Just do raid Lestat Almighty. 
your chat and after a short amount of time yeah now you have to stop streaming that, uh, manually okay okay <clears throat> Uh, it's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the n nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure you. I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to uh, find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself and don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahahaha. <laughs> Ahahaha. Ah, ha, ha. Anyway, do you want uh, to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel the way that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that the direction spackle pr what protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. I reel blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a, a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Hmm. 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 <laughs> So what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. No, that's okay. Yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of that's that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I remember these. Sometimes when you are writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try uh, so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to th uh, think about wait, another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dark puddle of ink. So just keep, just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alrighty. We will save it here. <clears throat> Let me let me look at uh, the Discord server real quick. 
So yeah, the stat is streaming. Where is he streaming? He's streaming Diablo 3. So yeah, we will raid the stat. Okay, so... Uh, let me let me bring uh bring up his stream here. There's an ad playing for me on his stream, so I'm gonna let the ad play first before we raid him because. I want him. I want to see his reaction and shit. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna save. So he is playing Diablo three. So. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just, I just want to see, I just want to see his, uh, his stream. I can do it from the dashboard, right? <laughs> Stop fucking jumping, dude. Oh. Well, if I can't, then I'll just uh, do it for my channel then. The moment when you never raided someone before. <laughs> really? That's cool. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you again, uh, Young, for the raid. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.